Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue with a colouring chat, colouring in Tropicoff by Carla Magana. How are we all? I hope you're all doing really, really well. I'm good over here. Not, oops, sorry about moving the camera like that. That was not intentional. I think my chair is stuck behind it. There we go. I hope you're all good. We're fine here. Jennifer has had, oh, that's a bit light. I want to be darker than that. A pretty bad cold this week. Um, so she's not been 100% well, poor kid. Um, she's got a very sore nose. Um, she's still in school. She wanted to go. She said she felt up to school. She likes to stay because pee today. Pee's her favourite. Um, so we... Um, we took her in. Um, and I just said to her, if you're feeling really poorly and you want to come home, you just tell your teacher, Mrs Thames, and she'll get the office to ring and mummy will come and get you. Okay? Poor kid. So, but so far, so good. I haven't heard anything yet. So I've got two orders packed to go out. I have had another one this morning. It did come off after my cut off time. So I don't have to post it unless I want to. And I, I probably will. Um, I'll probably post it. I mean, I've got time to go and pack it up before I go out anyway, so I might as well get it posted today. It's very hard at the moment. I'm just doing my best to try and keep going. Better. the sales it's just cost of living everything's slowing down even even the cheap stuff it's going but it's, it's slow um. yeah, we'll keep going see how it goes but you know I'm okay I'm just happily pottering along getting on with life Mum and Dad are fine, Paul's fine. The cat's around somewhere, she's fine. Uh, still reading, I'm trying to read. I managed to finish The Carpet People last night, or the night before, I finished it anyway. And I am now trying to get through the Hollywood Book of Death because I am quite near the end of that one. <laughs> I'm getting there, it's, very, it's really interesting. It's when you answer the more modern people that I don't find it as interesting. Although it does depend who it is, obviously River Phoenix was really interesting. Um, and then on top of that, I'm, I'm getting close to the end of the Jack the Ripper book. The only thing with that one is, like I said, I do that one when I wash my hair and I dry my hair because it's a big book and it's easy to say open. I did finish the story I was reading. Um, what else have I got on the go? Uh, the Songs of Willow Frost is getting interesting now. It's getting good. So I'm starting to really enjoy that. Um, the Florence Lawrence biography and Little Women, which I've been taking with me when I go to pick up Jen and reading while I'm waiting in the car. So that's good. I'm quite enjoying that. I mean, I don't particularly like them, I must admit, because of course it's, it's old stuff. They, you know, they're of their time. And, um, you know, they're whinging about not having any money and all that. And I was like, well, join the club, mate. I never had any money when I was a kid in the 80s. <laughs> My parents didn't have any money. Um, but it, and, and they're so goody goody. Oh, I'm going to be so good for daddy. And oh, I was like, Ugh. nobody's that perfect. But there you go. That's just me. I get a bit funny with things like that. But I'm, I am enjoying it. It's very easy to read. So that's good. I have got my journal for next year. And I've started um, with that. I've put some stickers in it, some of my book stickers. And I have uh, written in it, Reading Journal 2024, ready. Um, like I say, I'm changing the way I'm going to do the journal next year. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to challenge myself other than the Goodreads challenge. Because I find, I think that's what's held me back this year. I've been trying to do these three challenges. So I haven't been reading and, and it's been quite hard to do. So 
it's been hard for me to keep up with the rest of the reading. So I think what I'm going to do there is I'm going to have a break off the challenges. If I want to read Stephen King, I'm going to read Stephen King because I was going to do Stephen King next year again. If I want to read a classic, which I do like reading them every now and again, I will read a classic, but I won't worry too much about it. Um, I'm going to try and get through my physical TBR. Now, as I'm going past the charity shop this afternoon, because <laughs> I have to go to the post office, I'll have a bag with me. You know I'm going to pop in there and have a look at the book, so... I might have a look at the £1 um, rail very quickly to see if there's anything interested in there. But uh, Usually I go in there to buy books. And the reason I buy multiple books is I feel bad just buying one at 25 pence and paying with a fiver because that's all I've got. So that's why I usually buy several. As long as there's something I want. There you go, just had to change the battery so... You know. Ugh. Sharp pants a bit. <laughs> oh dear me. So yeah, I mean, I'm, if I go in there, I'm gonna and I buy books. I'm gonna buy like about at least four, which is a pound's worth. Then I don't feel so guilty paying with a five pound note. But if they've got books I want, I, I'll buy them. I, I, they might not have anything. I might go in there and think, oh, they haven't got anything I want here. It's like Paul says, he feels bad buying one DVD because, again, they're so cheap. So he usually tries to find some other stuff. He doesn't look so much at the books because he doesn't know what, what I've got and what I haven't got. So what I do, you know, if I want books for Christmas, I make him a list. And he gets me newer ones. So I've got to make a list of stuff for, for his mum to get me. I'll do that this afternoon. I'll have a quick look. Um, there are there is a few books uh, that I want still, and I'm happy to have books. I mean, I've got far too many. I will admit, but I love books, and I can't help that. Books have been a part of my life as long as I can remember. My dad taught me to read. I was reading really well when I was four or five, when I was Jennifer's age, but there wasn't the amount of TV then that we have now and there was even less when dad was a kid and it is true so when when i was a kid we had three channel well four channels if you cast channel four west will see but there's never any kid stuff on there so we had basically bbc one and itv were the channels that would have the tv on tv programs for kids were literally across lunchtime so maybe yeah, half an hour at lunch and then two hours in the evening from four to six if that it might have been an hour and a half or half three to half five something like that very little and then saturday morning you'd have like a, about four or five hours first thing in the morning so cartoons and then a program like going live or number 74 or tis was you'd be right back wet in the way um but we didn't have computers we we did have computer games don't get me wrong we had consoles like the atari my brother had an atari um that he would use but we weren't constantly on them if that makes sense you know so if it was raining out and there was nothing on the tv because it was adult tv yes you would have things like doctor who on the weekend and, and the a-team and that which was geared towards families we would play board games if it was raining and we couldn't go outside and play outside because we did a lot outside back then um we play board games uh, we'd listen to music and i can remember listening to music in my bedroom when i was a kid and we would read i used to love going to the mobile library and thinking back on it now i can still see it i can see the interior the way it was laid out i can smell it it was that tangible it and, and, oh, i can smell it in my head if that makes sense and it was such a lovely warm feeling at that mobile library i loved it because we lived right out in, the, in a village um we lived in a place called argoid and the nearest library was in blackwood and I can remember, I think it came on a Wednesday. I want to say it was a Wednesday afternoon that the book, Bookmobile, the, the mobile library came. And I can remember going very excitedly with my mum, taking back the books we'd had the previous week and getting a load of new books. And I was a big reader, like I am now. And I was eight, and I was eight or nine, and I was reading Agatha Christie from the Bookmobile. 
I was like, I think I said, told you the story before that when I was in college doing my my voice exam, I did Jane Eyre, and my teacher said, I said I was going to do Jane Eyre, and she said for my prose piece, and she said, oh, did you do it in? So have, you, have you read it? I went, yeah, I've read it. I read it when I was in school. And she went, what, what, for GCSE? I went, no, for fun. And she looked at me like I had two heads. But that's me. I always, you know, I was watching um, Steve Donoghue on YouTube. And apparently there's a video on there for tips for reading Thomas Hardy. And he says the best tip for reading Thomas Hardy is don't. Well, I love Thomas Hardy. Mayor of Castbridge is one of my favourite novels. Yes, they're not uplifting at all, but I also like his poetry. I've read a biography of him. I find him fascinating. I don't know why, I just do. So, yeah, I love Thomas Hardy. I love his, his novels. Uh, but yeah, I love books. Uh, I want to watch how I find his beepers with all the books again, but I try and read what the books are and that's no good because you can't see he's too fast going around. I would love to visit somewhere like that. I don't go to the library here very much. Jennifer says she wants to, but I'm not sure why she wants to because she, you know, she can take out books. She's got a library card. I could go and uh, take her to the library, and but then i got to remember to take any books back that we borrow. And I've got so many books here that I love my library and I love using it and I do go in there occasionally because it's also got our council hub in there. And, and I, lo I love it, it's a beautiful library. But I just think, why am I borrowing books when I've got books? Get rid of the books you've got, which will never happen, and then go to the library. It was like Steve Donner who said, if, you, if you've if got a load of books and you're not reading them, get rid of them, unhaul them. But I want to read all the books I've bought. I got them for a reason. I mean, if I, if I don't, if I read one and I don't like it, then I, you know, I read half of it and I think, no, I can't do it. And it's like the second or third time I've tried. Then, yeah, I will unhaul it. I will take it to, to the charity shop. That Neil Oliver one will probably go there. It was good at the start. I enjoyed the beginning, but then I didn't like the rest of it. And that's just... It happens. It's not the end of the world if that happens, you know. You can get over it, you know. You're not going to like every book you read. And that's why I don't... Although I like doing the list challenges, I hate lists that are titled All the books you should read before you die or 100 books you must read. Why must I read them? I'll read them if I want to. The only thing you must read is what you want to read. Nobody should be saying, you must read this or you must read that. If you don't want to read it, don't read it. I've never read Twilight. I have no interest in it. I saw the film and I hated it. Um, but The Hunger Games I've never read, but I have picked up a copy of The Hunger Games in the charity shop and I will read that. I think that sounds like a very interesting story and it's supposed to be very, very good. So that is something I will read, but I'm not going to be told what I must or mustn't read by somebody else, by Guardian or something. It's like, well, because reading is subjective. If you read, it's something you, you, you know, you're going to like it or not. It's like music. Some people love rap. I don't particularly like it. I don't like heavy metal. I like some metal. I don't like the screaming metal, where they're just screaming their faces off at you. But I do like some metal. So, but would I tell you you're wrong for listening to it? Not at all. It's your choice. Same as I like to read classic books. I like to read big books. I like to read Stephen King. You don't like to read them? Not a problem. You like to read Twilight? You carry on reading it. There's nothing wrong with it. You, If you're enjoying it, Carry on. Go ahead. It's fine. Don't worry about what I think about your reading habits. You just enjoy what you're doing because the worst thing you can do is tell somebody they shouldn't be reading that. It's rubbish because if you do that, you're going to kill their love for reading and that is not what we want. They say that people aren't reading as much, but I see all these YouTubers and book talkers, and there are hundreds and thousands of them and they're all really young people and they are reading. 
and it doesn't matter if they're reading YA or gay fiction or straight fiction or black fiction if someone's been reading I'll read anything it doesn't bother me if it's got a gay protagonist or it's written by a black woman bring it on I, I want to experience it I want to understand their lives because that's not something I've experienced being a straight white woman I can't know how a black person feels I can't I, I can sympathize and empathize and agree that it's not right same with the gay people and the trans I'm all for you know I'm, I'm all for people being true to themselves and I have nothing against any human being if you're a good person and I'm a good person doesn't matter what creed color race or sexuality you are we should be able to get along so I'm saying anything I'll read I will read anything and I will read it from any country I really am person who believes that we are all equal we should be all equal we're not but we should be because if you skinned everybody alive if we took off their skin underneath we are the same we have the same biology underneath you know obviously male biology female biology or whatever biology you you were ascribed to is going to be different yes but physiologically we're the same we will bleed. We will bleed the same colour blood. We will have a heart and lungs. Anyway, it's enough of that. I'm just despairing of the world at the moment with everything that's going on. Um, and sometimes we need to read to escape those realities because while it's important we recognize that this stuff is ongoing we also need to recognize that we can help the best way we can which is by donating aid to these countries but we can't beat ourselves up that we're not there doing it because we can't be everywhere we need to think and help the way we can whichever way that may be Now recently I've been watching lots of cat TikToks and the ones I like are the rescue ones when they rescue kittens and they bath them because they're covered in fleas and muck and all sorts and they do get very dirty, the poor buggers. I do just love watching them. These little animals, these so sweet little kittens being bathed. And they're like looking at me and say, what? And it's just... Uh, I love, I love, I never, I never, was never a cat person until I got said. Not really, I'm, I have nothing against them, I like them. Now I adore my little kitten. I love my little girl, my cat, my cat. And she's so sweet and I would not be without her at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, there goes my phone making funny noises. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I just can't. I don't get people that hurt animals either. Animals, are, are, we're, we are lucky to have them. We don't deserve them, but we are lucky to have them. Because the way we treat animals, we, we don't deserve them. No way do we deserve those beautiful things. And then there are some people who go out their way to help animals and oh, it is wonderful. So, we've got to, see I love watching cat TikToks, I also like the dog grooming ones when they get a matted dog for whatever reason and dogs mat and you can't always blame the owner, for instance we had a dog called Turk who was a nasty little bugger and he would not let you brush him, he would not let you brush him. Um, he was a free Chambise terrier mix and they're already got terrier in them and he was a nasty thing he, Chris he picked on the most it was an alpha male thing I think of who's the youngest who's the best who's going to be the most you know who's the boss between the two of them but he'd go mad at the phone he'd go mad at the um knock on the door anything like that that little dog would go absolutely spare and you'd be like come on 
come on, it's not that bad. It's only the door. But, you know, he would be... Oh. But he wouldn't let you brush him. At all. He would not let you brush him. He would get really, really antsy with you. Very nasty. And he'd have a right go at you. And, uh... Yeah, it wasn't good. He could also be very lovely and cuddly, but his fur would mat terribly. And we would take him to the groomers and they'd have to muzzle him. He'd have, he'd have to be muzzled. And we, you know, we don't know why he was like that because we never treated him badly. He had nothing but love from us. And, uh, yeah, it's just animals, isn't it? They are funny critters. And I mean, I love, I love them all. I love animals. I'm glad I got my cat. Darker grey, I think. It's dark one here. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just think people need to be a bit nicer to each other and to animals. We need to be a little more tolerant. And we all have bad days where we go, might go off on one for whatever reason. We do, we all have bad days, it's normal. But sometimes you've got to take a step back and think, well, if I'm having a bad day, they might be having a bad day. How about we just treat each other with a little bit of respect here and just not worry about it. And then we can just be friends and crack on. Nearly finished. I'm going to finish the back. I'm going to do the background off camera because it's going to take a while to do that. Um, but I've still got a little bit more to do yet. Which one did I want? This one here. Um... Oh, I like her. She's coming out of my I've got her eyes to do yet. I love her hair. Hmm, not really the colour I want. Let's try this one. I always try it on the page that's behind. It's a bit pink, isn't it? Pink. No, that's fine. That's fine. <coughs> You'll have to excuse me. I just go off on one myself then. But yeah, it's just a matter of being tolerant of each other, being nice to each other. And I like that on this colouring community is that we're all we're all different. But we've all got the same hobby. We all like different types of colouring and different books and artists and mediums. I like I like markers. Um, I love my pencils, I love my prismas and my polys and my black widows and these are all right but I also I also you know I like seeing what people buy and <clears throat> what people like now like I said I'm not a big Disney person but does that mean you shouldn't be of course not I love seeing the Disney pictures colored oh, there goes the phone again it's going mad this morning but I'm not 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 a Disney fan. I do like Disney films, but I'm not that bothered about colouring them. I like I said, I've got my Disney books, and I love the ones I've got. And I did see a couple that I wouldn't mind. I'm just not mad on it like like some people. But then some people are mad on Alice in Wonderland, and I don't like that particularly. I'm not a big Alice fan. I prefer The Wizard of Oz. Why I don't know. I just maybe it's the film for me that does it with The Wizard of Oz, but. It could well be as simple as that. Ah. So, yeah, we'll have to see. So, my pencils, it makes your hand hurt. So. 
So Paul's off out tomorrow to a band. He's going to go with his friend, his friend Paul. Yeah, his best friend, one of his friends' name is Paul. And they're going to go and see Shed 7 at the Tram Shed in Cardiff. So that means it's McDonald's for tea tomorrow night. So we always have McDonald's when Paul goes out. And then he's off Friday, so we might go into town. Do a bit of sourcing maybe. It depends on how he feels in the morning because he's not been well. I'm hoping he'll be fine because I would like to go for a wander around the charity shops. There's a couple of like, there's a St Vincent's, there's an Islamic Relief. But I don't often go into and I wouldn't mind going into them. Because I, I, I tend to stick with Scope because it's uh, a pound. Ten of us used to be a pound but they've been close to a refurb so I'm expecting them to be not a pound anymore. So... Yeah. I've got to have a little wander around the shop. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll have a bit of a cough and have a drink of water. Well, Coke actually, but. So I crack on in a bit. What time is it? Oh, sorry. Plenty of time. I'm going to go and get that other parcel in a minute and uh, get it posted. I love doing the eBay. I really feel much more relaxed not working at the office. I do. Um, I think it's just simply because of I don't have that stress of having to start at a particular time and having to finish a bit of time. If I've got lots to do, I'll crack on and do as much as I can. If I haven't, then I can take it easier and it means that I can sit and make videos more than I used to because I used to struggle with <coughs> the time because <coughs> I'd get home from work and have some lunch or I'd finish work and have some lunch and then it'd be pretty much by the time I'd finished that and cleared away, time to go and get Jen. And when Jennifer's home, it's hard to do things because she wants me to be with her and, and do things with her, which is totally understandable. So having been able to just say, right, I've done enough for today, even though I haven't done much today, it just means that I can crack on with this. And tomorrow I've got the doctor, so I'm not going to be doing too much tomorrow. I've got uh, some drafts ready to go live, which is great. I've got some stuff I need to photograph, which I will do. I'm going to start having a look through these slides and I'm just going to literally look at them. I'll put them in the slide viewer so I can plug that in. In one of the slide viewers, look at them and then just count them into hundreds. I'm going to keep the boxes, the cases that I've got because I think those cases would be handy because I, I do shoot slides myself occasionally. Um, it's not very often these days but I have got a few and I've got all my mum and dad's. So I think I'm going to test the slide projector and potentially keep that. I really want to see my Marilyn photographs. Not of Marilyn. Of her clothes and stuff from the auction and my photos from New York and any other slide films I've done. I'd really like to see them projected on the big screen onto a big wall, um, which I can do in, in the other bedroom because it's a cream wall. So it'll show up quite nicely and I'd love to see what the Kennedy dress looks like up there. So I'm gonna try and see if that works. Oops, never mind. Right. Oh, my hand is hurting now. Ugh. It really is. What are you going to do her eyes? Go. I love these trays. <laughs> They're really good. Although I've got to put them all back. Which is a boring bit. I'm going to finish this bit off and I'll do a, 
jewellery blow. So I'm going to do the backgrounds later. I'll probably take them into the bedroom. I don't know, I've missed a bit, I can see. I don't bother doing the um, gems like that. I can't be bothered with it. Normally I do them in glitter. I'm not big for doing proper colouring. I'm not that good. I haven't got the patience to learn it either, so. But, and there she is. I will finish, like I said, I'm going to finish the background later um, off camera because it's going to just be a lot of pencil work. But there she is, our lovely lady from Tropigoth. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There will be another one soon when we'll be colouring. I think it's Back to the Future next. Somebody asked for a picture from Back to the Future. So we will do one with that. And they asked for Black Widows, but I might not do it in that. I might do it in a different book um, another time. Just simply because my hand is aching from this one. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Love you all. Bye.